Menelaus' Theorem in Geometry In geometry, a transversal is a line that passes through two lines in the same plane at two distinct points. For example, line C is a transversal, passing through line A at point A, and line B at point B, respectively. If a transversal line passes through three sides of triangle ABC, it intersects the triangle at three points, point P, point Q, and point R, among the three intersection points, one is on the extended side. As shown here, point Q is on the extended line of side CA. By connecting the intersection point to both endpoints of the side, six segments are created, which are, segment RA and segment RB on side AB, segment PB and segment PC on side BC, and segment QA and segment QC on side CA. If a transversal passes through a triangle, it creates six segments. The Menelaus theorem is a theorem which relates these six segments on the triangle. Specifically, if transversal line PQ on triangle ABC creates six segments, RA RB PB PC QA and QC, we have RA over RB times PB over PC times QC over QA is equal to 1. The left side of the Menelaus formula contains six segments. If we put the six segments into a row, they actually follow a counterclockwise order around the triangle. These tips may help you memorize Menelaus' theorem. The converse of Menelaus' theorem is also true. If the three points, PQ and R, on the three sides of the triangle ABC, have the Menelaus relation, we can conclude that the three points are on the same line. Menelaus' theorem is named for Menelaus of Alexandria, a Greek mathematician. We can prove Menelaus' theorem using similar triangles. To create similar triangles, we first draw a line from A to reach BC at point D, such that line AD is parallel to line PQ. Based on angle-angle similarity rule, triangle BPR is similar to triangle BDA, therefore we have RA over RB is equal to PD over PB. Similarly, triangle ADC is similar to triangle QPC, therefore we have QC over QA is equal to PC over PD. After multiplying equation 1 with equation 2, we get equation 3. Eliminating PD in equation 3 and multiplying PB over PC on both sides, we get equation 4, which proves Menelaus' theorem. Next, let's look at an example problem. Please pause the video and read the problem. In this problem, we are given two ratios, a y over y c, and a r over r x. The two ratios contain four segments. We can see that these four segments are on the sides of triangle C A X. The problem wants to find the ratio B X over X C. We observe that segments B X and X C are on side C X of triangle C A X. In this problem, six segments are involved, they are all on the sides of triangle C A X. Intuitively, we can apply Menelaus' theorem to solve the problem. To use Menelaus' theorem, we first need to determine which one is the target triangle, and which line is the transversal line. From the locations of the six segments, we can know that the target triangle is triangle CAX, and the transversal line is line BY. Now, let's work on the solution. By applying Menelaus' theorem on triangle CAX, we have YC over YA, times AR over RX, times bx over bc, is equal to 1. By substituting the values of ay over yc, and ar over rx, we get, bx over bc equal to 2 over 5. After replacing bc with bx plus xc into equation 2, we get equation 3. After simplifying equation 3, we get, bx over xc equal to 2 over 3. In summary, Menelaus' theorem relates the six segments cut by the transversal line on a triangle. 
Menelaus' theorem can be used to solve geometry problems where a target triangle and the transversal line are available and two or more ratios for the segments on the sides of the triangle are given or can be found. If you are interested in learning more math theorems or techniques, please visit our YouTube channel Maths in Minutes. If you like the video, please press the buttons of subscribe, like, share, and feel free to comment.